Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a video and while you're down there hit the thumbs up button because it really helps me out. Today we're doing a Q&A on self-harm. <laughs> First question is what what's the hardest thing about self-harming? I said the hardest thing is the secrecy. Okay, it's such a private thing and you you try to hide it from everyone because you don't want people to see what's going on. It's a very personal thing to go through. As I say that's the hardest part about dealing with self-harm. Privacy but the secrecy. Next question is advice on how to stop. For me I, I stopped because I was in hospital but advice on how to stop would be keep yourself distracted, read a book, have a hot bath, dye your hair, go for a walk, have a hot or cold drink. It's just uh, any form of distraction is your best friend. Distraction is key when stopping self-harming. Next question is what made you start self-harming? How old were you? So I was seven when I started self-harming. I self-harmed from a young age because I was being abused by my mom. I was self-harming because I didn't know what else to do. And it didn't feel wrong, it felt right. It gave me control. I don't remember the exact day that I started self-harming, but I remember how I did it. I'm not going to say how I did it, but I remember how I did it. Last time you harmed yourself. Let me check my ass. I've been self-harm free for one month and 21 days. 16 hours, 52 minutes and 37 seconds. That was the last time I hurt myself. What are some excuses for scars? Now, obviously there's the truth to hurting yourself. Then there's the ones that are obscure, that aren't the truth, that are like, I got in a fight with a hedgehog. There are no excuses for scars. Scars are a part of your body. When, if you sell harm, you have scars. And yes, scars fade over time. But you have scars for a large portion of your life. And you have to learn to live with that and accept it for what it is. Except that there's nothing you can do about it. And just wear your scars like you wear your skin. It's part of your body. There's nothing you can do about it to change it. And the last question I've got is, what helps you cope with urges? I'm really struggling. So urges, I distract myself. Whenever I feel an urge, I put something on Netflix, I play video games, I go for a walk, I dye my hair, I listen to loud music, I use my distraction box. Coping with urges for me is just distraction. That's all I've got for this video. Thank you for watching and if you are new make sure you hit the subscribe button like I said at the beginning of the video. Thank you for watching and thank you for supporting me and I'll see you guys in my next video.